Hello and welcome to Special Events Planning at Fanshawe College. My name is Emma Geraghty and I'm a full-time professor in the School of Tourism, Hospitality and Culinary Arts and the coordinator of Special Events Planning. First of all, let me say thank you for attending this digital version of our open house and I hope that I can help answer some of your questions. There's no doubt that the hospitality industry is currently one of the hardest hit by the global pandemic. And event planners in particular have faced a difficult time with event cancellations, postponements and general uncertainty in the industry. However, the pandemic has also presented us with opportunities. I've recently been approached by several charities and not-for-profits looking to work with our students to come up with new and innovative ways to host virtual events and fundraise online. I think this trend will continue and our graduates with a solid background in event planning and superior technological skills will continue to be in demand in the industry, whether it's in resorts, hotels, conference centres or as event meeting and wedding planners. Our campus Special events planning is taught exclusively from our beautiful and brand new London downtown campus in the heart of London, Ontario. Our campus has its own restaurant and special event space and is steps away from Budweiser Gardens, the Convention Centre, lots of restaurants and nightlife. Our location makes it ideal for taking field trips to event spaces and inviting guest speakers into the classroom who are well-known event professionals. A little bit about our programme. To learn to be an event planner, you have to get hands-on experience. And our programme is designed to give you just that. In the first year, our students begin by volunteering at local events with our industry partners. And this way, they build up an event portfolio, network in the industry, and start to build a great resume. In second year, students get to plan and execute their own event with a small group of peers and really show their creativity. Partnering with local charities such as Kids Sport, Pause United, the Breakfast Club of Canada and many more, special event students have recently raised more than $20,000 for our local community. Our instructors, the special events planning team is made up of a range of industry professionals. We have wedding planners, meeting organisers, charity and fundraising experts, event planners and food and beverage professionals on the team. We all look forward to welcoming you into the programme and please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Hello and welcome to the virtual open house for special events planning. Thank you for joining me and I hope that this presentation will help answer some of the questions that you might have about the programme. My name is Emma Geraghty and I am a full-time professor in the School of Tourism, Hospitality and Culinary Arts and I also coordinate the special events planning programme. Event planning is a two-year Ontario College diploma and it's designed to prepare you for a variety of careers within the industry. Some of our students have gone on to be uh, event planners, catering event coordinators. Others have gone into a, a different field within the industry entirely and are, are working on sporting events. We have students who set up their own wedding planning businesses and I've also had a student from last year's cohort who's launched her own bakery and event space. So the the opportunities um, are wide ranging and uh, our graduates are working in all areas and facets of the industry in Canada and abroad. Our program is taught exclusively from our beautiful brand new London downtown campus. It's right in the heart of downtown London, Ontario. There's a video on this slide. If you click, it will take you inside and show off some of the spaces that we have. But we have our own chef's table restaurant, which is uh, run by um, Fanshawe students. It's served. The food is prepared by our culinary students and um, a food and beverage service students also work in this restaurant. Special event students have held a number of events in the chef's table restaurant. More, most recently, uh, our graduation party for last year was a wonderful 
wonderful event that we held in this space. We also have on the second floor of our building a designated event space too that students can use to host their events from. We love being downtown. It's a number four bus, I think, from main, from main campus on Oxford Street. It doesn't take too long to get between two campuses, I think about 10 minutes drive. But being downtown has some unique advantages. And one of them is that we are just steps away from the huge event space, Budweiser Gardens, where they host concerts and sporting events every week. Um, we are around the corner from the London Convention Centre, which is now called RBC Place. There's restaurants all around us lots of nightlife and bars, clubs, and students take full advantage of all of these um, spaces and we have lots of events that are just walking distance away from us. Being downtown also enables us to bring in guest speakers and we have lots of local well-known event planners, meeting planners, wedding planners who come in and uh, guest speak in our classes on campus. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the first year of our programme and in the first year students will take two semesters, semesters one and two. If you start your programme with us in fall, let's say you're thinking of joining us this fall 2020, then students who start in fall will complete level one. And then in the January, so fall is September, in January, in the winter semester, students complete level two and then they're off for the entire summer. So at the end of April through to September, then those students are off and they have the advantage of being able to secure summer employment before they come back to school for second year. If you join the program, we also intake in the winter semester. So if you start your program in winter, so in other words, January 2021, then you will complete your level one in that winter semester, um, January to April, and you'll be in school over the summer from May to August, you'll be completing your level two. What that means is that you won't have a break between uh, the end of the first year and the beginning of the second year. So in effect, you complete your diploma faster. You would then join up with the people who started in September and you'll join up and complete your level three in the fall and you'll graduate with the previous cohort in April. Um, so if you're starting this year, then you'll be expected to graduate, um, complete the programme in April 2022. You may have seen on our website that we are launching a fully online version of our programme and this is designed for domestic students who are perhaps holding full time employment or have families or live out of province who would like to take the special events diploma but can't commit to face to face classes. The launch date for our fully online programme is January 2021 and if you begin with us in January 21 as a full-time student, this would be your programme com um, completion. So you would complete your level one in the winter semester, you'd be working over the summer on your level two and then you'd start second year straight away. So when you finish summer in August, you'd start the year two straight away in September and then you would graduate the following April. On this slide, you can see some of the courses that you'd be taking in semester one, which runs in fall and winter each year. Semester one is, a, is much like many other Ontario college diplomas, is that it's really a skills building level. So introductory level. You take one event management course, which is event management intro. But other than that, the majority of the courses in semester one are building your skills for later on in the program. So most uh, college Dipl uh, diplomas will have uh, RIT, which is a writing course, a math, a basic computing technology course and so forth. So level one, like I said, is skills building and is designed to be introductory. If you are coming to us from um, other universities or colleges and have completed some previous education, it may be possible to get credits for some of these level one courses.
Level two or semester two in our program runs in the winter and the summer semesters. Here you will start adding to the skills that you built in level one and we start introducing some more event specific courses. You have a systems course where we look at different event software. You learn about food service and catering and menu design for events. You have a business essentials course where we talk about entrepreneurship and setting up your own business. You have a PR and sponsorship course where you start learning how to fundraise and how to approach sponsors and design sponsorship packages. More importantly, in this level, you will also take your practicum one, which is a field placement. In fact, although this is embedded into level two of the program, you start this um, in semester one from day one. And you'll see that we will um, be introducing you to a number of different volunteer opportunities where you can build up your experience in the event industry and take advantage of our downtown location. So that practicum course that's highlighted on the previous slide is really where you build up your industry experience and we provide you with a number of opportunities to do that and to network with local employers. Here are some of the volunteer opportunities that our students, um, some events locally that students have worked on in the past year or so. Um, we work with a number of uh, industry partners on a regular basis. For example, we work with the London Luxury Bridal Show every year. We normally have students volunteering at the air show. We work um, quite closely with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada. And at the moment, we are looking at uh, how we can do some virtual events for them. Um, if the huge light, the night walk, which they hold every year in the fall, won't be able to, to go ahead um, this year. We have students working at the London night, selling tickets. We have students working at open house, all sorts of events every year. And really, students get out of this what they put into it. So the more that you volunteer, the better your portfolio looks and the more event experience you have for your resume. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada work with us and have worked with us for a number of years now um, to plan this wonderful um, charity fundraising event called Light the Night Walk. Every year our students participate in this event and you can see some of the pictures here. We've got students sitting registering walkers. Um, they get involved in decor, they get involved in customer service. And again, it's a lovely opportunity to network within the industry to see how a huge event is organised and of course it looks great on your resume too. Every year our students volunteer at the London Luxury Bridal Show which is usually held at uh, the convention centre now called RBC Place. This is a very popular volunteering practicum activity for students who are keen to get some experience in the wedding industry and it's a great opportunity for students to network and to meet with vendors and suppliers that they may engage with later on in their careers. In your second year of special events planning is where you really get an opportunity to start putting what you've learned in the first year into practice. Students in their second year will learn a lot more about uh, event management strategies, so how to plan an event and the logistics and project management that go into doing that. We have courses geared for people who are interested in meetings and conferences. There's a weddings and occasions and a sports and festival course. In entrepreneurial spirit, students actually put all of this together and plan an event that helps them fundraise and that fundraising goes towards putting on their final capstone event, which is in the final semester. Students enjoy semester three because they start um, hosting their own events and working with teams of students to put on something that's fun and memorable. You'll also take a course in beers, wines and spirits in third semester, and that's where you work, learn about a lot about wine and beer and tasting and different types of grapes and food pairings. Through this course, you have an opportunity to gain two industry certification. One, one is the Prudhomme beer certification and the other one is WSET and that's the Wine and Spirits Education Trust. It's an internationally recognised um, approved um, certification for, for wine. 
So this slide just shows a snapshot of the courses that you'll take in semester four, and this is your final graduating semester. So many of these courses are designed to help you with your final capstone event, and that is Plan 5002 Event Management. This is your big event where you'll bring everything you've learned throughout the program to host um, an event um, of your choice with a group of colleagues. You'll also finalise your practicum portfolio in level four, where you'll produce a website or an event portfolio that shows all of the experience that you've gained throughout the programme. As I've said, all of our students will take WSET and PRUDOM as part of their uh, of the programme. In first semester, you'll also um, have three essential accreditations for the industry. One is safe food handling. You'll do emergency first aid and CPR. And uh, maybe most importantly for our industry, you'll be Smart Serve certified so that you can serve alcoholic beverages. And this is really essential when you get into volunteering at events, but you'll also need to be Smart Serve certified certified for hosting your final capstone event. So I'm going to talk just a little bit about some of the student events that we hold in event planning in, in the program. Um, and this may give you some ideas and examples of how we get involved in the industry. So throughout the program, students um, gain essential experience in event planning. And we have students who come to us from high school who've never really um, worked at an event before or ever planned an event. And of course, we also have mature learners who've got substantial event planning experience. And this gives everybody the opportunity to learn from each other. In the first two semesters of the program, you're really getting your event experience through that practicum, through getting out into the community and volunteering at numerous events. In the second year then, as you get that more experience under your belt, students begin planning and executing their own events. And the, the events are very varied. It depends on the particular group of students and what they're interested in doing. So I'm going to show you some examples of that. So here's an example of one event that was held in the last year. This is called Downward Dog for a Good Cause, and it was in aid of uh, Pause United. This was an event with a number of layers to it because it was a yoga event with uh, adoptable dogs present, which uh, was interesting. You know, they say never work with children or animals. Well, when you're working with dogs, you're getting into um, liability waivers. They had to purchase insurance. They had to make sure they had a proper risk management plan for this event, but it was a, a very successful event and beautifully executed, executed by this group of young women. Here's another example of a student-led event. This one was held at Windermere Manor in London. If you're familiar with it, it's a beautiful location. And this group of ladies decided to put on a, a workshop. Um, they called it Babes Who Brunch. And uh, attendees could uh, sign up to do some painting or they could sign up for a, a floral design workshop. They had a beautiful brunch um, for, for guests and raised quite a bit of money, which went to the Breakfast Club of Canada. This is a different example of a, of a type of student event. Um, this group of women put on a, a concert at um, a local venue that raised almost $5,000 for the Canadian Mental Health Association. It was a fabulous evening um, called Metal Health. They had vendors all around the room selling everything from, you can see in the picture here, picture frames to candles and incense and uh, essential oils. And they did a really super job and it was a great evening. And here's another concert. This one was Mosh to Break the Silence. And um, again, it was held at a, a local musical venue. And as you can see, they raised almost $3,000. And this one went to Waze Mental Health. And here's uh, that group of students presenting their rather large check to the charity, who, of course, are thrilled to have students raising funds for them. And uh, again, we had a wonderful evening. 
Here's another example of a capstone event in the program. So this group of gentlemen decided to host a basketball fundraiser. They had uh, lots of um, friends and acquaintances come out and support their fundraiser, had a fantastic basketball tournament at a local community centre. And all of the money that they raised uh, went towards Kids Sport, uh, um, a small charity who were very grateful for their efforts. So I hope the presentation has given you a little bit of an idea of how we structure the programme, how we bring students into level one and we start building skills and exposing them to a variety of different community events through the practicum portfolio. And then by level um, three, students are hosting events in larger groups. And here, as you can see in these pictures, in level four, students then get to choose who they work with and host events um, with a smaller group of people that perhaps they've worked with previously. And the kind of events are very wide ranging, as you've seen some of the examples. We've had everything from homistic, holistic, psychic fairs to luncheons with classical music to workshops and leadership dinners. It really does vary according to the students' own preferences. But there's one thing that capstone events all have in common, that when students graduate our programme, they have a portfolio to show employers that shows all the different ways they've engaged within the industry and all of the different events that they have worked on and hosted. And also they've got some perhaps great networking and references. So when they start applying for jobs, they really have um, a leg up on other people. There's a lot to say about the programme and I'm hoping this will give you some, some insight into, into what it's like. But if you have any more questions, please feel free to email me at any time and I will answer them as best as I can. My contact information is on the next slide. Thank you very much for joining us and I hope we'll see you in the programme soon. Thank you once again for joining me for this session. Um, please email me if there's any questions um, that I didn't cover for you. I look forward to welcoming you to the programme soon.